Guess what? We have reached our target. A staggering amount of £300 has been raised for the NSPCC. That's amazing. Back in me to run the half marathon. That's amazing. That is. I am so over the moon. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. I'm so chuffed. When I started fundraising, I thought it doesn't matter if we don't reach their goal of £300. That is a lot of money. But yeah, we got there and now I just can't wait to do it. I know. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah, special thanks to GP Woodsy who finally thanks, got us to that target with a... Um, Large donation. We were Couldn't believe it. That. Yeah. Probably like last night. I was just, I looked at my phone because I keep on checking the Just Kidding page just to see. And it went I, from like 75% achieved, wasn't it? Yeah, to 100%. I love it. As you click on it, you can see the, the bar goes up. Can you see that? Do you see it going up? Well, we had the shock of our lives, and my picture, I just tried to update my profile picture with the vest on, as you see, from the NSPCC, because I'm running for those guys. I tried to update my picture on Just Giving, so I thought I'll have a nice one with the vest, and I have literally just got the vest, no head. She thought, let's just take a picture of my boobs. <laughs> no. <laughs> now we can't get it to change. No, I can't change the profile picture. You've probably changed it too many times, they're probably like, you're not allowed. Limited what? amount. But yeah, that is me guys, in the vest, just can't see my head. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks to everybody, everyone who's um, Absolutely amazing, supported honestly. and donated, uh, family, friends, work colleagues, everyone's come together and we got there in the end. Brilliant. Well, I say in the end, we've still got a few days to go yet until I do the run, so yeah. that's so amazing. Just because she's reached her target, guys, it doesn't mean you can't donate. Still donate if you were thinking of donating. Like I say, yeah, anything will do because it's, it's just all for a good cause. Yes. A bit of disappointment yesterday when this arrived. She had the, re the vest came through the post and it was supposed to have had um, the dudgies on the it. The dudgies on it, but it didn't. It There's no, no. I wonder if they if it's because I put the dudgies and not a name, a first name, they've not allowed it in case you're advertising for someone. Well, at the end of the day, if you're running for, for a company or anything, then they should just put anything you want on yeah, it, shouldn't it? Yeah, I suppose they? so. You know, as long as it's not crude. This is her last run. So this is my last race. run, yeah. Um, I've been training for a good couple of weeks. I've been running for ages, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. Years, but I've been training for this marathon for a couple of, about, since June, running with the marathon in mind. Yeah. And I've been up in my mileage by a mile a week for the last, six weeks yeah seven weeks so yeah i'm up to 11 miles now and the um marathon is 13.1 so a couple more miles than my maximum but i'm feeling good yeah i'm gonna get there but they say not to run too far i say they like i've read online um in training plans and advice for running marathons that you shouldn't run too far the week running up to the marathon no so I'm only going to do like a short run today and this will be my last run before race day. But yeah, I'm feeling confident, but the weather's not brilliant, is it? No, it's really windy up there and it's actually starting to rain now. That's all right. I'm not scared of the rain. No. But the forecast is good for Sunday, which is race day. Yeah. So fingers crossed that's right. Yeah. Because it would be nice if it's just dry and not windy. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be sunny. But yeah, I'm going to do it. So excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what I've noticed is with her training, when she, do a, when she does a long run, it's not about stamina or fitness or anything like that. It's about, it's battling your feet, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like I feel like I could run for miles now. So I'm not too concerned about that. It's just the hitting hurts. When yeah. she ran the 10 mile, she come back, her feet were bleeding, weren't they? Yeah. And this is with brand new shoes, the most comfortable ones that you could find, wasn't it? Yeah. And she came back with her feet were bleeding and all sorts. It's just crazy. Yeah, no but pain, no gain, no guys. Well, no, that's right, that's right. It's got to be done. So yeah, as long as that's the only thing that's um, bugging me. And another thing is, I keep on thinking, what if I get ill in these next couple of days? I, think I, don't I know, know. And I 
just can't like stop thinking, oh, what if something happens? Shush. <laughs> like, so oh, I want to do it. <laughs> oh. It's just pre-race nerves, I guess. So. Yeah. We are going to vlog the event, guys, as much as we possibly can. The problem is, Mrs. D, I, got, I said to her, do you mind chatting on the phone on your way round? And she said, yeah, having a laugh, that. as if I can run 13 and a half miles and, and keep you updated. It's just not possible. I'll try. I don't know. I'll see how I feel on the day, but I don't want to... Um, i got a, a time in mind that I want to complete it by, which is two and a half hours. Oh, I thought it was one hour. I thought you wanted to beat records, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to beat Mo. <laughs> Two and a half hours that I want to complete it by. So, um, along the way, if I think I'm smashing that, then I'll just yeah. maybe get the camera out and vlog, because I'll have yeah. my phone with me. But if not, I need to stay focused. Yeah. It's going it. to be a completely different environment to what you normally run in. Yeah, so I never. Know. I run on my own all the time. Yeah. I never run with anybody. You did start off running with somebody, didn't you? Yeah. But she quit, and you carried on going, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit different. I don't really know what to expect, to be honest. The closest thing we've done to this was the Santa Fun Run, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, Rudolph! Everyone's happy, it's a good atmosphere, yeah. and you just get your adrenaline going. Just you get your adrenaline from everybody else everybody as well, else, don't you? Yeah. It kind of takes your mind off the fact that you are running such a long distance. You'll do it, I know you'll do it. I'll do it. Just... She'd do it if she had her leg in plaster. I, I know would, she's like, yeah, she's very determined. Got determination in me to do it. Yes. So, I'll do you proud, guys, I promise. Yeah. What number are you? Oh, yeah, let me get it so you can. Because it's going to be broadcast on the TV. I don't know if we told you that already, but you can see. I am, but Keep a look out for me. This is what I'm wearing. There might be lots of people wearing this. I'm <laughs> just thinking exactly the same. <laughs> oh, they can track me. Oh, yeah, there's a tracker. There's an app, yeah. You go on the Cardiff Half Marathon tracker and you put my race number in. This is my race number. So that's 23349. I'll have that pinned to me somewhere. Yeah, that's good. They might spot me. I'll probably be the only one if I do this. Yeah. We make, we make holes. <laughs> we make eye holes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we make eye holes here. And I'll run like that. And then you'd know it was me if you've seen me pass the camera on the TV. I think you've lost the plot you have. So how do they do this on the app? Where's it, where's it to? There's so much here, isn't there? Yeah. Suspected. But there was no dudgies, guys. That was really annoying. We got a map. Got a map of the course. When you actually look, it's quite daunting how far it is. It is. It goes through most of Cardiff, and that is like, wow. You know, Cardiff Bay, Butte Town, City Centre, Roth, Cates. You got Riverside, Grange Town. It's just crazy. Panar. Panar, yeah, you come through Panar. View town, and then oh. I can't wait to get to Rope Park. That's halfway, isn't it? No, I'll, that's like 11 miles, 12 miles when you complete Rope Park, and then it's uphill to the finish line. But running around Rope yes. Park, I'll just be over the moon. I'll be buzzing. But yeah. once I get there, I know I'll be fine. It's crazy, mate. It is crazy. Yeah. It says, tell all your friends and family to keep an eagle eye on BBC Wales where the whole race will be live. Okay, BBC Wales. And that is Sunday morning. And I think the race starts at... 10 o'clock. The race starts at 10 o'clock. I know, we were trying to find that... Um... Oh, track. download our live tracker race app. Cardiffhalfmarathon.co.uk slash app. Try it out, guys. And search Mrs. Dudgy or my race number, 23349. And let me know how we get on with that. So yeah, I think we've covered everything. Yeah. I'm just gonna do one last run now. Get out there, get it done. It's not very inviting, is it? No. <laughs> it's but not. I've got to do this last one. Yeah. This is the last run now before the run itself, isn't it? Yeah. Before the day. Last run before race. And what day are we today? Tuesday. So it's Tuesday today, and there's not gonna be any run now until Sunday. I'm actually nervous myself. Are you? 
Yeah, a bit. So guys, we will vlog the event, but but as much as we possibly can. Um, yeah. Yeah, so make sure you check it out and, and see how she gets on. Obviously you've seen us before that, so. I can't wait, I'm so excited. So, thanks to everyone who donated. We've got Cardiff Festival's team donated, staff at Barry Hospital, Gary Wood. Anonymous, anonymous, few anonymous people, thanks to those guys. Sarah Davis, Jeremy White, thank you Jeremy and Sarah. James Roper, thanks James. My parents, they have faith, um, they both donated. Uh, your mum donated as well, didn't yeah. she? I put it in. A couple of friends, Sam, Carol and your sister. Yeah, the Danksies. The Danksies, thanks, thanks you guys. guys, I know you're behind me all the way. Debbie from work, my friend Keris and her little ones, Ava and Coa, they watch us. Thanks you guys. Jackie, the Lum family. Guys, thanks, thanks ever so, so much. much. Honestly. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. More and than you ever know. Gary Wood finished us off. Gary Wood, mate. Cheers, guys. See you So, yeah, thanks to everyone. All the support means so much. It's quite overwhelming, isn't it? It is very overwhelming. And, yeah, all for a good cause. You gotta smash this now, mate. No, I know. I will. <laughs> Promise. I'll give it my all. So, guys, we thought we'd give you a quick update um, and and kind of like put a. This is the end of the the, the thing now, really, isn't it? Because this is the end of the marathon now until the day, isn't it? Yeah. This is the end now until the day. Yeah. Um, this is my last run. Yeah. And then Sunday we'll be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed going into Cardiff to do it. Yeah. Mm. So guys, thanks again for all your support. It really Fans means the world to us. It really does, honestly. honestly. It's amazing. So, yeah. Guys, if you'd like to track Mrs. D, download the app, give it a go. Yeah, please Try in do advance. it. And let, yeah, please yeah. do it as soon as you can. Try in advance, because if there's any problems, then we can, we can try and right. talk you yeah. through it. So, but thanks again. Don't get lost or squashed. We'll speak more soon. He's going to do it. YouTube channel. This one right now. Right See now. you soon. Down there. That it's button. there. That's it. See you. Bye.